it's 8.30 right now, having coffee. Uh, plan for today, just go for a walk, check out a few things. There's absolutely no snow left. It rained all night. Stay nice and dry in here. But it rained all night, there's no snow, and it's raining right now. And the temperature is probably about 2-3 degrees out. It's, uh, it's a little annoying. Not annoying, but a little disheartening, especially when I wanted to come out and snowshoe and everything. But I think I'm just getting too anxious. I know um, December, December's coming. December will be a lot, uh, a lot more snow. What the heck are you doing, bud? This is a constant. She is always. Eating the wood, taking it outside, getting rid of it, hiding it. Oh, it's a chore. Let's see what outside. Let's see outside now is oh, windy, rainy, miserable. She's digging out there too, and of course, where she digs <clears throat> is right where I have to have pegs sticking. <laughs> she is one pain in the butt. Aren't you goose? Hey, eh? you pain in the butt? Yeah, you're right. She is. <laughs> so we're moving some wood around, and. Uh, I filled up Goose's dish this morning for food and stuff and water and I'm just about to move it a little bit and guess what was in it I seen that before too when I filled it up and I thought it was just a leaf matter of fact yeah it's a toad I'm surprised she didn't eat it <laughs> weirdest things but just so you know I'm not gonna hurt it there she goes goose no come on bud you don't want that <laughs> obviously you didn't eat it out of your dish uh, before I start making breakfast I got to uh, I got to clean up some dishes I cooked that steak last night and the frying pan's pretty rotten. So warmed up some water. A little bit of soap in there. I'm gonna use that. And in this pot. that pot later for Bannock so I'm not gonna bother cleaning that one yet. Inside here I got a little fire kit, some fire starters, some fat wood, some birch bark, sticks. This is awesome. Get a nice softer side for cleaning and a harder side for scrubbing. And wipe them with this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Clean. Like it leaves nothing. It leaves nothing. I'll show you. Goose move. Here's the old frying pan from last night.
get. Too bad. The thing is awesome. Just white wipe. That is awesome. This is a good test to check out the, the sound quality because right now, I don't know if you can notice, but the wind is just howling off the lake, blowing towards me, and it's brutal. So we'll find out how that mic works out. I need a few smaller ones to get the fire going tonight. I'm going to let it die out right now so that I can change the uh, change the coals, get rid of the coals. There's a big bed in them because I had the fire going most of the afternoon and last night. So. Wow, that wind's screeching, man. First thing about it is I have to go as fast as I can so numb nuts over there doesn't steal all my wood. Well, I think it's uh, well. It's 11:30. I think it's probably time to give her uh, some lunch. She seems to be eating all the wood, so she must be hungry. Are you hungry, bud? Just for wood, eh? Come here. You hungry? You hungry, old girl? Hi. Right. You hungry, girl? Show the camera you're hungry. That's what I do. Oh, I eat wood. I eat wood and then I pook.
So right now we're just going to wait until uh, that little bit of wood burns down to a nice coal, and then we're going to empty out the empty out the stove. We're off for a little stroll in the woods. Been walking around. The sun's out, so it's it's not exactly warm, but <coughs> it's warmer than it was. So now we're just bugging around the woods, taking a few pictures and stuff. There's absolutely no snow left. As you can see, it rained last night, it rained this morning. <coughs> rained all night, rained this morning, and there's nothing left. Just swampy old stuff. Goose is enjoying it. So we're back down. We went around the property a little bit, took a few pictures. Now we're coming out here on this back road uh, where his, uh, where my buddy's sugar shack is. You can see all the, uh, see all the pink tape on the trees and those are the ones that he was tapping last year for maple syrup. <coughs> I know he keeps it locked up so can't exactly show you. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Some wood in there. The stuff he uh, uses to boil it down. So we're going to make our way down to another lake, not the one that we're camping on. Go down, uh, down this little road a ways, down to the other lake. I don't know what it is, but I just, I, I love that moss on those rocks. I think that's awesome. The only bad thing is, when you see that stuff, you know you're in an area that's always wet. Which is most of the Muskoka. Muskoka's like that most of the time anyway. Every trip I go on, or every time I go out, everything's always soaked. Even in the summertime. So you can see down here, there's another lake down here. Some of the trees come right down, huh? There's a lot of those areas. A lot of trees down and uh, low ground and there. It's full of water. It's almost like little lakes. Still pretty nice though. Oh, the sun's coming up. Be nice if that stayed for the day. I either want it to snow or we can have the sun up. <laughs> but I don't like the sun down and no snow and it's just wet and ugh. But I tell you, with a bit of snow would be nice. If we can't have that, I'd rather have a nice day. So far, so good. These huge rocks, man. Pretty excited to see how the video turns out. I want to see if there's a huge difference between uh, the DSLR and the, the GoPro. I know it, there's a difference, but it'd be nice to see it. Look at this tree. Huh. She's going to fall sometime. 
Hey Goose, slow down buddy. So this actually his property line ended somewhere around here I think. This lake isn't on it. But I'm sure I can go down and have a peek. I know fishing his uh, fish in his lake in the summertime is nothing but bass. Huge, huge bass every toss. Almost like it's stocked. Anyhow, enough of that. We're gonna go and do a little bit of exploring and check the place out a bit. Oh. Well, it's quarter to three. We had lunch around uh, 11.30, quarter to 12, something like that. Had our lunch, had a nap. My buddy showed up to do his hunting, so uh, he was sitting out in his tree stand. He came back around lunchtime. Went out and played a game of crib. Helped him. Uh, did three, three or four loads of wood. Brought it up to his sugar shack. So something nice warmed me up. Anyway, it's uh, it's chilly coming off the water right now. There's a bit of wind in that. I uh, I just finished dumping out all the coals out of the stove. And uh, relit it. Well, she's just starting to get going there now. I got some small stuff in there, and uh, once she gets going good there, I'll put the kettle on. And we're gonna do some hanging out again. It was kind of nice. Went for a walk, took some pictures. Uh, what else? Loaded that wood. Goose ran around, chased by, chased Alec on his ATV. Didn't you, buddy? Chased him around on his four-wheeler. So he just went out again now for his uh, for his afternoon hunt. So it's a quarter to three. Should be back by I don't know half hour, twenty minutes after dark. So five o'clock or so. So we're good for a couple hours. Hang out and have coffee, relax for a while, maybe play a game of cards with him when he gets back. And uh, the rest of the evening will be just me and her. Oh, hopefully we'll get her a little bit warmer in here. But not too warm, I hope. <laughs> eh? You don't mind, though. No, you don't mind it being warm in here. Yeah. You're a good girl. Well, that's it for now. Yeah. That's it for now.
Cut that wood down all by myself. Just walking the trail, or uh, sorry, the road out from his gate. It's starting to get dark. It's only 4:30. It's starting to get uh, sun's coming down anyway. Figure we go for a little walk and hopefully see a deer or something. Earlier on, we had those deer tracks crossing the road right here. I was kind of, kind of hoping to see something. I don't think I'll see much with uh, with goose anyway. <laughs> the deer's definitely going to hear us and smell us. But you never know. Tromping along, that's for sure. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? some grass. Mm, must be getting close supper. Must be getting close supper time, is it buddy? <laughs> well, we're gonna just continue on with our walk. And go back and throw a log in the fire. It's warm over here. But down where the tent is, is right by the water and the wind's blowing in. It's, I bet you it's a difference of like two, three degrees. And you can feel the cold because of the wind. Well, the evening's about done. It's uh, 6.30. <laughs> the evening ain't done, but it's pitch dark out. Uh, my buddy came back around maybe an hour, hour and a half ago from hunting. I cooked up some cheese bannock on the stove some bologna and bacon and uh, mix that all together and uh, we had some of that before he took off we just finished up not much else to do now I got the fire going dog and I are nice and warm she's laying there having a snooze I don't know if you can see her or not but there she is yeah so that's the end of that it's been a really nice day Spent most of the day uh, out walking in the woods and checking a few things out and trying out this new camera. So I'm going to be interested to see how it worked and see what the pictures look like and, and all that. So I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm just going to hang out with the dog, read a little bit and uh, go to bed. Keep putting wood in that fire all night. Stay nice and toasty. Yeah, so.
So we'll see you in the morning. Uh, good morning. Welcome to day three. It's Sunday morning. I don't know what time it is, somewhere around 7.30. So last night was a bit different. The fire the night before lasted about two hours before I had to stop and I put more wood in. Last night it was about an hour and a half and I had to do it. I had it dampered the same way, same kind of wood, but it was cold. The wind was blowing a gust. The bottom of uh, one of the pegs out of the bottom come up, so I put that back in, and it was just blowing. There's a little bit of frost and snow out there. It's I'm not sure what the temperature is. It's probably it's definitely in the minuses. It's pretty freaking cold out, and uh, maybe maybe minus four, something like that. Anyway, it's cold. There's a little bit of snow and frost on the ground. I'm just going to get some coffee going now and do up some breakfast. This morning I'm going to make uh, boil this water and make some uh, boiled eggs for breakfast. What are you doing? I know, I know. Just gave her breakfast. She's all happy now. You appreciate it, do you, bud? Yeah, I know you do. Now you want what I got, right? Sit. Sit. Sit your bum down. No. Oh. You're so much. You're so good. Jesus. Anyway. Time for coffee. Every hour and a half being up just to, took its toll on me last night. That's for sure. After I beat this thing up, she's been asleep since about 7:30 last night, so she's full of energy, aren't you? And then you just had some beans, and now you're ready to go. All right, buddy. Well, while we're waiting for uh, our eggs to boil, we're going to. Um, Outside and have a look around. Couple little flakes of snow. Mostly frost, eh? I have no idea where the dog went. Oh, there she is down there in the woods. Across the river. She froze, froze up this part last night. The ice is starting to refreeze out there a little bit now. Um, so there's not really snow, it's mostly frost. Oh, here she comes. Oh, it's chilly out though. Enough out here, let's go get some coffee. Oh, you can do whatever you want, dog. I'm going in for coffee. Oh. So, we're just gonna. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come. We're gonna have some coffee and some breakfast now. I got a couple eggs boiling. Pretty excited about that. Three boiled eggs for breakfast. Kind of sitting on the bottom. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for my eggs to boil, I'm just gonna pack up some stuff. Mostly the dog's bed, blankets.
can see the uh, oh yeah the eggs are boiling along really good now <laughs> and a big rolling boil Ten by ten shelter. It, it is a lot, but man, the only place that it's high is in the center, right where the stove is. <laughs> so it's not as free as being outside for packing stuff up and doing things. Did you eat all that bark, which bark goose? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, talk to the wife, and next weekend she's coming out with me. So, it'll be hot tenting with the wife, Goose, and the other dog. The little stinky one. So, I can already see it. I'll need twice as much wood, and I'll be sitting there stoking the fire constantly. <laughs> Keep the two of them warm. Ah, I kid. She'll be wearing a parka. <laughs> I think my eggs are ready. Nice and boiled now. What happens when you decide to pack up? It gets cold. <laughs> and it's starting to snow. So the whole reason I come out here, well not the whole reason, but good reason was to be out in the snow and stuff like that. And now I'm packing up to go home and it's starting to snow. It's funny how it does that. Goose is all wound up because it's fresh cold air out there and she's crazy now. I've got uh, half the stuff brought up to the car. Um, it's a nice layer of snow on the car. It's crazy. I mean, it's not snowing like we're coming down, it's just little pecks. You'll see in a few minutes anyway when I... I'll do some video outside when I'm tearing this tent down, so... Anywho, I'm trying to enjoy a little bit what's left of this fire. Let it burn out, and then I'm going to tear this place down and... Maybe go for a walk in that before, before we go home. I don't want the uh, goose to be unhappy with her trip. Hey buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, I might look for another little spot to set up because uh, when I bring the wife down here, this the wind and everything is howling off here, and you got to cross some water and.
I got uh, the cars packed up, everything's done. Goose and I are just going to go for a walk in the woods. You've seen it before, it's just the same thing with a bit of snow now. Well, I like dusting the snow. So, it's about 10.30 right now. We're going to stay for a couple hours and go for a walk. Hang out with her for a bit. It's been a really, really nice two days. The only, the only thing I really wish is that it was, uh, it snowed. But we might get that next weekend. I'm going to have another look for somewhere else to put the tent instead of down there on that little outcrop. I can see my wife walking across that now and choosh going in. I don't have enough firewood to keep her, dry her out. <laughs> so we're going to go for a stroll in the woods and try to find a, find a different place. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.